My name is Eleanor Bernson, and I am a creator, musician, and songwriter. I grew up in Des Moines, Iowa, for the most part, and as a child, I was a serial hobbyist. I just bounced from one thing to the next, and they were always creative hobbies. I was 11 years old when I wrote my first song. My mom took me to a Taylor Swift concert for my birthday. Seeing her perform was not something that I'd ever witnessed before, just general performance like that, where it's a, a show. They're there to entertain, they're there to you know, not just sing for you, but to tell you a story. Honey, darling, I'm an arm and Within the time of watching that to our performance, I think the trajectory of my life was completely changed, and that was what I knew I wanted to do. I started performing when I was 12. I started performing as Eleanor Grace when I was 14. So sixth to eighth grade were some incredibly challenging uh, years for me. I think my best advice when things don't go your way or things are stagnant or there's you know a little push and pull is could be good luck, could be bad luck. You never know whatever situation you're in, what that's gonna do for you later on. I am 19 years old now and music is my number one priority still. Uh, I'm also a student at Berkeley School of Music online. Performing is my favorite thing about being a musician. It's like a form of enrichment, you know? You read about things to put yourself in a different character. You are trying to figure out how to put yourself in the mind of another person, or you're just sitting in your emotions and you're figuring out, how do I feel about this? When I started making music, I defined myself as indie pop. And the first song I ever released was called Lighthouse when I was 15 years old. And it's gone on to now reach over a million streams on Spotify, which I think is a crazy achievement, uh, something that I'm very proud of. I actually missed my first homecoming dance because I was in the studio recording Lighthouse all day. Um, I think it was worth it though. <laughs> I decided to record another version of Lighthouse just to say thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting that song. I am ready to go. Here we go. So I had a gut feeling that this version of Lighthouse was supposed to be recorded at Golden Bear Studios with Brian Vanderpool. It was done within five hours, which it's incredibly fast to record a song, and we started working on another demo immediately after, and it just kind of snowballed into a whole record. Some of the songs that we ended up recording were Dream About a Cowboy. There's a song called Outlaw that was the first real country song that I wrote, and I kept bringing these songs to Brian, and he kept saying, I think we have a country record here. I think we can make a country record. And at first I kind of thought he was crazy for saying that. I was like, I'm an indie pop artist. I'm a pop artist. I don't know about country. We decided that this was the direction to go. Yeah. Something that I think I've gotten better with, not only in my songwriting, but also in just being in the studio and recording is being able to say exactly what I want and what I mean. I think it's beautiful how we all can find common ground with words through songs and lyrics, and I'm honored that I get to have a life path where that's something that I do. What can I do for myself and what can I end up doing for others with my music is my greatest inspiration and motivation.